A day ago, Pope Francis celebrated a mass for 600,000 people in a remote place on Papua New Guinea. Papua New Guinea is very poor. 40% of the people live below severe poverty line. Only 20% of the people on the island have electricity. Most people don't have access to clean water. But faith is strong. And as it was said over the centuries, the blood of martyrs is the seed of Christians. There have been many missionary efforts in that part of the world, which is, as some missionaries would write, it's in the Stone Age. Well, can you, that's what we understand. No electricity, no roads, not good water. But the missionaries went into the remote areas and brought the message of Jesus. Some of them were put to death. At the Mass, Pope Francis made reference to Blessed Peter to root. And it happened that in 1945, the army of the Imperial Japanese Empire invaded New Guinea. And at a certain point, they instructed that there be no religious activities. And Peter to root was a catechist. And in those days, the priest would stay in the center parish and catechists would take care of the outlying areas. He was 33 years old. He was married with two children and he decided that he would continue to instruct people and have prayer services the very best that he could in his little mission far in the jungle. But he was put under arrest put in prison in a cell with no windows. And he was told to give up his faith, but he refused. His wife and children came to visit him and they pleaded with him, give up your work as a catechist because we are suffering. And if you give up your role as a catechist, then you can live. But he said, no, I can't give up what I believe. So he was executed in prison. And Pope Francis gave him praise as a man who continued to teach the values of our faith, including the sanctity of marriage. And he told the people there at the Mass that they are all missionaries to continue to spread the message of the good news. So those people, those 600,000 people who came to the Mass with Pope Francis made great sacrifices to be there. Some of them walked for three weeks. Very inconvenient. Very poor, but rich in faith. In the Gospel reading, Jesus speaks to his, his apostles. He says, blessed are you who are poor. He's saying, you're following me. We're going around all of Galilee. You are poor. You are hungry. People hate you. They insult you. They denounce you. So the apostles and the disciples were experiencing negativity. But Jesus promised that when he comes again, all of that will be reversed and they will have reward. So we look at that wonderful celebration of Mass in the South Pacific with the Holy Father and hear his message. And those people who are so poor in material things but very rich in faith, they continue to build the kingdom of God. We are challenged by these words of Jesus. 
four blessings and four woes. So we think of how we can share what we have with those who are without. And during the homily, Pope Francis said, New Guinea is very rich in natural resources. And now various countries are coming in to try to take away those resources for the benefit of other places, but the people remain poor. And Holy Father said, the riches of the natural resources of New Guinea are for all to be shared. So we pray for those wonderful believers far away, and we pray that the missionaries will continue their work, and we are challenged that we too can be missionary disciples to follow Jesus when, even when, and especially when, it is inconvenient.